All right, in this example, we're given the domain of negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And um, what we usually have is an input, and we're going to try to find the output. So our first example is going to be y equals 4x minus 5. And so we know that the domain is also the x value, um, or the input. So we want to know what is the output when we plug in these values into our function here. Um, the easiest way to do that is to make a table. Um, we'll do the x on the left and the y on the right. So we have a domain and our range. Well, we're given the domain. And what we want to do is plug in these values here for this x and find out what our output is, the y value or the range. So I'm going to plug in negative 2 times 4, I get negative 8, minus 5 is negative 13. I'm plugging in negative 1 next, I get negative 4 minus 5 is a negative 9. 0 is always the easiest one. I get 0 here and end up with a negative 5. Plug in a 1, I get 4 minus 5 with another negative number, a negative 1. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 5 is 3. So the range given this domain is the values here for y. Pretty simple example on this one. 